There's another cow. We could, uh, I think we've got hunting last and last. I think I'll pick one up. But I don't want a cow. We don't really need food. Yet. Crowbar. Camping tent. Go in here. It's a ladder. Could be anything up there though. Oh, there's a person then. Alright, let's go in this little compound. There's some barracks. All oh, that is. They're just like chem lights. I thought someone was in the corner. <laughs> Nothing. Stanex. Ooh, what's that? Ugh, I don't want one of them, they're horrible. <laughs> MP5, don't want them. Tin cans, nothing. Slugs. Nothing. 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 <laughs> and nothing. Oh, these are good barracks over here. Oh, tin cans, yeah. Nothing. And some bandages and something. Probably some macro of ammo or something, so nothing in here. Let's head over to this big city over this side then. Okay, so we're just approaching this much bigger town. There's a warehouse over here which I'm going to check out. Oh my god, look at that road. <laughs> I was going along that in the car. That would break your suspension instantly. Run through here. I'm not gonna go upstairs. No, nope. there could be wheels and stuff in here, but to be fair, I'm not that bothered about vehicles. Don't break your legs. There we go. So we can't do anything unless we get a toolbox. So <laughs> I'm not in any rush to start collecting stuff. Uh, so we need to go toward. The, I'll put a marker over that way towards a bridge. Is that not more like military compound? More barracks? Surely not. Yeah, there's a bridge over that way which we're going to head to, which will lead us to another island. Well, not really another island, another part of the island. Where uh, the main air base is. Oh, big town over there as well. Warehouse. Some apartment buildings. I've got a long way around. This is obviously another big city area. Not seen any people yet though, apart from what's on the air, previous airfield. What did I run? Oh, I'm gonna show past that entrance. <laughs> empty, empty, empty. They're all empty. Probably all have been looted. There's probably something up there, but to be fair, I'm not in much of a rush to risk my life just to look up a deer stand. No nope, chem lights and nothing. Get out of here, zombies. Okay, well that didn't... Look at that cool house. That didn't prove to lead us to anything, so let's go to the marker. I apologise as well if you can hear the rain in the background. It's absolutely chucking it down in real life. <laughs> um, it makes me laugh. It's, it's, quite, it's still like temperature. It's quite hot. But uh, yesterday it was boiling. Absolutely sweltering, and now it's suddenly chucked out of rain. That is the definition of English weather for you, though. One day, lovely and sunny. We've had our summer, about two days, and that's gonna be like winter again <laughs> for another year. Mm. Uh, but it's getting like, much nicer weather now in England. It's like scorching weather, lovely. It was on this map as well. I first had my, I had my first experience with suddenly combat logged. I was so annoyed because this was when I, on my old laptop. This was before I even had my PC, so I wasn't recording it. And I was, it was, something, it was like this sort of area, but it was along a coast. And I saw a guy running up a hill in the distance, like, say, like, on that hill. And I started running after him for ages. I was running after him for about 20 minutes, stalking him. And then he started, I thought, well, I'm going to kill him. And he started to cross a river. What was that? He started to cross a river. So I thought, well, this is my perfect chance to kill him. 
So I started shooting at him and instantly he combat logged. It's so annoying, I was just running after him for all that time. It's like, well, I don't understand. I've never understood why people combat dogs. Makes no sense. What is it? I don't understand why. I don't understand why, but it's just pointless, really, isn't it? See, there is so many bar. I can't remember there being this many barracks. I really can't. Everywhere we're going, it's just like the odd barrack. Oh, putting your tent under there, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Be like camouflaged. <laughs> that'd be really cool. We don't have a camping tent. Oh, don't have a camping tent, though. Smoke grenades and stanag. Oh, that was a stanag. I've got them up it up. Put then a rucksack. We lost our other stanag from our other rucksack, so we'll put these ones up. Should we take a smoke grenade? I think we will actually. If we meet someone, we might scare them for a smoke or something. Be funny. Okay, let's go. Nearly at the bridge. It's only a small bridge, I think. It shouldn't be too risky going across it. I, I say that, it's really going to be like a barricade, about 20 people sitting there. But no, it should be fine. Rabbit! It really isn't the best idea to just run down the middle of the road either. That's, that's how you get killed. <laughs> if I just ran into like, to the left a bit in the bushes, I'll probably be perfectly fine. If a car comes, one, I've got zombies chasing me, so they're going to know I'm here. And two, they're probably going to see me by the time I can get out of the way. As you can imagine, though, it's a lot easier to hide camping tents on this map. So much easier with all the trees and the foliage everywhere. This is the bridge. It's not a bridge. <laughs> it's got a crossing with a tank trap in it. Or at least be a little bridge, but <laughs> no. The town over there. We're going to go up here. Oh my God, the zombie's still behind me. We're going to go up here and go left anyway because we're heading towards the airfield. This is the only crossing, otherwise, I would have to just swim across. So now, if I just get over here at the road and check my map, you see we're here. So we're going to head up, we'll go to this town first. Places a marker. And we'll go here. First off, actually, we're going to take a quick drink. And go in there, we have some food as well. Oh, look, you dropped the, I forgot that. You, um. Go back. You drop the tin, tin cans that whenever you eat. That's very cool. I, I do like that. Okay, let's go. What's that? A rock. Aha, we found the town. That's a big town. A smaller city, not a town, isn't it? Oh, there's those apartment buildings. I remember them apartment buildings. This town is massive. Oh, zombie. So we've got no binoculars, so I just scare it out. It looks relatively clear though. I don't see zombies around me. I don't see any in the distance. No, no movement. Let's get a map out. So we're here looking over this entire town. You can see here it's just all joint art, it's massive. <laughs> and it actually joins onto the airfield, it's that long. You can see it goes all up here, round here, and onto the airfield. Now this airfield is just horrible. This <laughs> as soon as you approach it, there'll be someone sitting up in this little wood line here. It's a little dip here if I'm in rightly. And people sit in this tree line and then just snipes. As soon as you approach the airfield from the south, you're like instantly dead. And then you show the bridge. The bridge is here. I've been across this before. It's a good ambush point. There's some buildings up here you can sit in and ambush people as they cross. Which I did once ages ago. Oh my god, that lag. Server's laggy as hell, it's horrible, but let's go anyway. Another military compound I've just approached, and <laughs> I think there's like five in this city. If I'm right, there's tons. Oh, there's only one barrack, I don't know, I can't bother it. Skip that. Go to this industrial bit over here, see if there's anything up here. I think if we do find a wheel or a toolbox, I mean, more likely to find a car with one wheel broke, and hope we have to fix it. Weird noises on this game, I don't know if you just heard that, but a door creaking open. You hear stuff that sounds like car doors opening all the time. You've probably already noticed them in the previous parts of the video. Ooh, tense. 
Watch a lot. When I played my Chun Roo series, I couldn't find tents anywhere, and now they're just like you know, common occurrence. Hello, Jerry Can. It's not a toolbox. I don't know if you if you if you need a toolbox in this one. Oh, I will. Oh, then we'll take it. Yeah, go on. We'll take it. No. Come on, get off room. Take it. Ah, oh, there we go. Just two ages. If I remember correctly as well, it was this map where um. I've got the most kills I ever got off at work with from zombies. I I think it was like 240 something. I just oh, was a fire station. I didn't even see that. I was on I was over here by these barracks on one of these apartments. I was just sitting on one of the apartments, just shooting the zombies. And uh, yeah, I got like over 200 kills. That's the most I've ever got, I think. Lots of memories on Lingor, even though it was like nearly a year ago. I played this map. Those memories.